My name is Kathleen Richardson. I'm Professor of Ethics and Culture of Robots and AI at De Montfort University, where I launched a campaign called the Campaign Against Sex Robots. So before I came onto the scene and started to ask questions, it was largely a discussion about what men wanted from dolls and from the future of sex robots. There was no real discussion about what is represented in these robots, which is primarily the female form. I want people to really think about what they're letting themselves in for. What is your idea of a sex robot? I've come across uh, discussions around sex robots. I have noticed that the representation of women is at the core. I think it's feeding a need that is integrated into all people and that need is to have somebody in which they can not just have a sexual relationship with but also provide their, their inner feelings to. I feel like as a young generation if you see your mum and your father and then you see this sex robot you might not know the sex robot incorporated in your life first you're going to think it's normal. I mean we have talked about uh, kids and how kids might view them and how they might view themselves because of the uh, image that these particular robots uh, represent. So I wrote a paper called The Asymmetrical Relationship and the parallels between prostitution and sex robots. And on the back of that paper, I wrote that we need to seriously think about these technologies, what's coming, and the whole issue went global. And since it's gone global, there has been a global debate and as part of this global debate, a lot more women are involved and a lot more organisations that maybe didn't think this was going to be a problem or going to be an issue are now involved in what's coming. Young people increasingly are spending more and more time on their own at home on social media and research shows that that has a negative impact on their mental health. And the knock-on effect of that is, as they grow older, they will be less confident in making human relationships with other people. And my concern is that they might see sex robots as an easy out. I do find the whole area of AI quite alienating. Maybe that's a generational thing. I think younger people maybe are more open to it. What we're talking about here is the reconstitution of humanity, which means that human relationships get displaced by machines. I think it's an awful lot of money and very sad use of technology. And isn't it a shame that we couldn't just be putting that money into some better technology? The people who are saying this is inevitable, that to me is a very uh, restricted horizon for humanity. But if you get people together, they could try to do something to affect change. And as citizens, it's our place, I think, and our right to um, lobby politicians for what kind of society we want in the future and how technology is used in society. Anything I can do to promote a discussion with people, to get together and have a conversation, and actually what I really want people to know is that they do make a difference and they can change the world. They can actually change how things work out. So we need to get everybody involved in the conversation. And a university is a place to have people involved in conversations about the meaning of life.